Welcome to CXC Math TV. Today we're going to show you how to simplify thirds in a calculator. So look at this. It says it says we're supposed to express the root of 75 in its simplest form. Well, what you can do is just press the square root button and press square root 75 and it simplified for you to get your 5 root 3. So this is 5 root 3. Likewise, if you're using this calculator over here, square root 75, that also gives you your 5 root 3. So you can use any one of these calculators to simplify third. Now, sometimes what happens is maybe your calculator is is in this form, right? You can't square root any number. Like when you square root it, you're getting decimals. It's not giving you the answer. Well, if you have a FX570 or a FX991 or a FX82, if it's not giving you the answer in exact form, what you need to do is look at it. You see it not working it out for us. What you do is you go to mode. Well, my apologies, you press shift and then you press mode. Then you want to click on MTHIO. Click on that one and we want it to be in exact form. So we press number one. When you do that, now you see it's able to allow you to find the square root of such number. Easy. So. Not, not only. Not only can it simplify expressions, but it can also simplify. It can simplify when you're adding two or more search questions. So, for example, you're adding. Let's clear them. You're adding the square root of. Why did I press fraction? The square root of fifty plus. The root of 32 it simplifies it for you these are typical exam question you'll see on add math and k it's simplified for you maybe you'll get this in an mcq it's simplified for you let's look at number two you have the root of 80 plus the root of 20. you can just put it in your calculator and it works it out for you nice nice and easy soft all right, so you can use a calculator to help you. All right, so I'll leave a link in the description of how to download these calculators and also where to purchase them because you want to have it physically for your exam.